representatives of communities from Palestine, from the United States. And we have our members, we have our relatives throughout the world. We represent Jewish communities who are true to the religion of Judaism. We have never, with God's help, swayed from our religion. Our communities exist and flourish in every part of the world, in all the major cities we have in New York or whether it is in London or in Jerusalem, in Al-Quds, in Canada, Montreal, wherever you will go, go, the more the religious, the community, you will find that they share what I am about to say. We are here to inform the world that they are being duped, they are being fooled. Judaism and Zionism are diametric opposites. The Zionist state of Israel does not represent the Jewish religion. It has no right to represent the Jewish religion. And it does not represent these multitudes of Jews who are true to their religion. Judaism is subservience to God. It's religion. It's a covenant we made 3,000 years ago on Mount Sinai. Zionism. The ideology behind the state of Israel has started a mere hundred odd years ago and it is a transformation to nationalism. It is a political movement. They are mostly was created by people who are non-religious. Their idea was simply to have a piece of land, a state. All the rabbinical authorities universally opposed this and spoke out in opposition to this state. The Zionists were ostracized from the communities. In Tunisia, Morocco, Egypt, and every Muslim land. The difference of religion has nothing to do with this conflict between Israel and its neighbors. It has nothing to do with the occupation of Palestine. Because of our religious differences, we, he is eighth generation Palestinian, most probably more you than you are. The Muslim land. The difference of religion has nothing to do with this conflict between Israel and its neighbors. It has nothing to do with the occupation of that religion. Like second they hijacked the our name Israel. Why? That they should get legitimacy to occupy the Palestinian people. They accuse them of being anti-Semites. I'm We're sure living that you're together. Never, never I'm in the middle of talking. Have respect. You're not in Israel here. Have respect. Let, you have to have respect and let us finish. And they, they carried out this order of their religion. They respected us. They helped us flourish as a Jewish community. Now Zionism came a little over a hundred years ago. They had a goal to create a state and they knew that they will be opposed by the world. So therefore they claim that the ones who oppose their creating the state it is because they're anti-Semites, they hate the Jews. And that is despicable. That is revolting to hear because these nations, these people who are we, who are being murdered, we wait for the day when the Almighty will reveal his glory and we will live together in peace and harmony. We, as men, we can return with the God who do it by himself at the exile. Then we will live in peace and harmony with the other world nations will come up and we will serve God. But till that day comes, we are forbidden to go and create our own sovereignty. And this was respected even though we suffered so much and we went through so many trials and tribulations. At the same time we went through this trial, then we will live in peace and harmony with the other world nations will come up and we will serve God. But till that day comes, we are forbidden to go and create our own sovereignty. And this was respected even though we suffered so much and we went through so many trials and tribulations, respected the religion. Their sovereignty is not Jewish. It is not a Jewish nation. It is a Zionist nation. It is a nation that is clearly forbidden according to the Torah. 
And that is why we're here, to let you know that because we are Jews, we stand and we stand in our position and we cry out, the Zionism is causing rivers of bloodshed. It is no question that they are the greatest exacerbator of that. The Jewish religion opposes the fully. And we cannot, because we Jews, accept this occupation. One day God, with his compassion, will end the occupation. Because they're true to the Torah, they cannot accept the occupation. It is against our essence. The Torah is subservience to God. Judaism is subservience to God. Zionism is revolting against God. It's a rebellion against God. It's refuting the strength of God. They are heretics. They say we need the lives to protect us. You will come to our Jewish communities. You will come to Manhattan. We go, we make demonstrations. In our courts, you will find, you will find demonstrations, tens of thousands of Jews demonstrating. You can find this both in, every, in, the, in, in Jerusalem and you can find that in New York, you can find that in London. Wherever there is a very large Jewish community, they demonstrate. They demonstrate and there's everybody who could possibly come out. This is in front of the White House when Netanyahu came to visit President Obama. This is the crowds you see that is never reported in the media. This is the facts. These are, the, this is the facts that you can, on the ground, that cannot be refuted. But the media is, it will be hundreds of thousands demonstrating, but the Zionists, in their wicked ways, they, this is something, go to our site, NKUSA. This is a fact. They try to force the Jews to go. That's the whole point that we are against what the Zionists are doing. That is part of this not We stand together. Thank you, Muslim. Reality is that. That is part of the tragedy that they confuse us. They confuse us with the Zionists. Here you can see some people taking us in, being our friends, giving us a safe haven. Not to be confused with the false Israeli rabbinate and their chief rabbi, but the true, the true rabbinate, the true all the communities around the world. We have a book, the rabbis speak out. You will find the rabbis around the world from Europe, from Palestine, from Middle East, from the whole world. Ashkenazic, Sephardic rabbis all stood in opposition to the existence of the state to Zionism and their occupation. We will never be Jewish. You can understand. You can understand. That, that's the, the problem is because we, we, you say we're talking about Israel, you mean Jews. No, we are speaking against the occupation, against the state of Israel. Zionism. And that's why is it not good? You're saying it's not good? Why is it not good? I'll tell you why it is. So we plead with God and God we urge everybody. You, God. God bless you. God, God bless you. God bless you. God we bless you. State, it's a Zionist state of Israel. And at the end of the day, and we, we hope that then we'll be able to return and show gracefulness. We will be able to show we will to show how great for us for the people of Palestine. These are the the I wonder, I wonder, do, uh, do this kind of statement? We, we never do it, we don't have arms, we don't carry arms tonight against the Jewish state. Yeah. Just to say that... Uh, Our statement that it's not the religion, that it's, it's very nice, we held very... Very well. So we, we, we go around the world, we see sometimes cemeteries are not well kept here. They keep it very, very nice. We appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye.